On December 8th, 2018, Jamal Ben Sadiq and Benny Adegbui met in the finals of the Glory 62 Heavyweight Tournament. They shared the ring for only 1 minute and 52 seconds. Jamal won by knockout in devastating fashion. Usually when fights end like this, the story's over. We've seen all we need to see. But this wasn't the ending to the story of Jamal and Benny. In fact, it was only the beginning. Let's rewind back to the start of the Glory 62 Heavyweight Tournament. Eight heavyweights are in the bracket, and the winner will need to win three fights in one night to take the tournament crown. With a big enough statement, that winner will earn a shot at the biggest prize in kickboxing, the Heavyweight Championship of the World. Benny and Jamal are the number one and number two seeds, respectively. To meet each other in the finals, they'll each need to win their first two fights. They did just that, but the paths weren't equal. Both of Benny's fights were wars. He outclassed his opponent in his first fight, but it was anything but easy. In his second fight, he had an all-out battle with Jafar Wilness in what would be the 2018 fight of the year. He won by knockout, but he took plenty of damage along the way. Meanwhile, Jamal's work to the finals was far less dramatic. He won his first fight by first round TKO and barely got hit. His next fight went all three rounds, but Jamal put on a clinic. His opponent had no answer for him. Going into the finals, Jamal was clearly the fresher fighter, but Benny wasn't going down without a fight. They exchanged heavy shots early. In one of those exchanges, Jamal appeared to have broken his right hand. He turned and walked away from Benny, but the ref, believing there may have been an illegal low blow, gave Jamal time to recover. Then, utilizing only his left hand, Jamal began piecing up Benny. Benny's gas tank began to empty, and nearly two minutes into the fight, Jamal finished Benny, claiming the tournament crown. Over the ensuing years, Jamal battled heavyweight champion Rico Verhoeven for the title, and even though he came up short, he put the champ in more trouble than he'd ever been before. His star rose to new heights, and he became one of the faces of the sport. Benny, on the other hand, would have to build his way back up. He picked up massive wins, but also tough losses along the way. Tremendous discourse over the results of the tournament remains today. Benny claims Jamal got lucky, and that he had the easy road to the finals. Jamal claims he's at a different level, and only made everything look easy. He reminds everyone that he only needed one hand to knock Benny out. On August 20th at Glory 81, Jamal and Benny will meet for the second time. This time, there's no tournament to cloud the results. Both fighters will enter the ring at 100%. We'll see who the better man truly is.